morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. I wanted to do this video for quite some time now. Um, I've had the privilege of using this system for just about a month now. It's pretty good. Um, quite a few things I don't like about it, but the majority of the features that the Kohler DTV system has with Steam and Bluetooth, I find amazing. Um, but it has its flaws. So we're going to have this video in two phases. We're going to have the after, after scenes. I'm going to show you the shower itself. I'm going to show you the digital interface. And I'm going to show you the mechanical, the electromechanical systems behind the scene. Uh, I'm going to show you the six port DTV system. I'm going to show you the Bluetooth module, the steam generator, the steam adapter. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So let's get the show on the road. Let's start with the interface. It's web based. It allows you to configure the system. As you can see here, I am in the settings. Um, we have time and date, you know, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, let's go to control real quick there. And you can see that I can actually turn on the shower remotely through the this web-based um, IP address. You know, I, to my knowledge, there is not an app available. I wish there was, um, but I'm sure you can type in the IP address onto your phone if you're using Chrome or whatever, and control it that way. But it would be nice if there was an app. Uh, we can go to settings. You know, I have the ability to configure the valves, the interface, you know, what you're going to see on the digital interface and music, you know, the Bluetooth connection and then steam and then of course users. So let me start by showing you the shower itself. All right, let's go. All right. Um, let's start with an overview. The shower right here is exactly 50 square feet. It's sorry. Um, yeah. Five feet across by 10 feet deep. As you can see, the ceiling and walls are all completely tiled. We do have two windows, vinyl Andersons, with screens, it helps to get some air in here. We have a Bluetooth speaker in that corner, and we have another one in this corner. Here is one of the rain heads. I have four body sprays, a handheld, and the Kohler Real Rain, which I find very, very disappointing. And I'll explain to you in a bit. On the bottom of this bench, I have my steam outlet right there, Kohler. What's pretty good, see that little notch right there? You could take your, your oils, your steam shower oils, like one of these, you know, there's tea, there's a peppermint, orange. My favorite is lavender, pretty good stuff. You can get these on Amazon. I think they're like 35 bucks for that right there. But you pour it a few drops right there. And when the steam is running, you get, the, get that euphoric, uh, you know, good stuff right there. You know what I mean? Top right corner here, this is the steam temperature sensor. Okay. And of course I have a, I think this is a four foot linear drain. So pretty cool. Let's go over to the digital display, that little interface. I call it a mini eye mini iPad, it's pretty cool. It's a little slow as you can see. Oh, there we go, okay. So you can configure the through the web browser what screen you wanna see first. So we'll start with home. And you see I got Steam there, shower, Steam, music. You can select different users. Let's go to Steam for example. See, look at that. You know, it's a little, a little slow and responsive there. The current indoor temperature is 74 degrees. Target steam temperature is preset for 125 degrees. Steam duration is 20 minutes. If I hit start, within less than a minute, we'll have steam in here. Coming out of that steam out. Let's talk about the shower. Let's go to shower real quick. This right here is real rain. And as you can see, real rain and this body spray by default are the first two that pop up. I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna show you the, uh, actually let me take off that so I don't get too wet here. All right, let's take that off. There we go. Let's 
take a look at the real rain. It's disappointing, guys, in my opinion. It's gonna start up, it's gonna fill that, I guess, catch basin that's up there with some water. And then we're gonna have like raindrops in a light rain shower. And that is a huge, huge, huge disappointment. Now, I guess they advertise it as real rain, but I would prefer like a real rain head. Like let this come down like a monsoon, but let it warm up for a second. You'll see how long this thing takes. Starting to pick up a little bit, but that's about it. That's as much action as you're gonna get out of this. And for 2200 bucks retail, not worth it, in my opinion, not worth it. I would have just put in a regular rain head in there and I would have been loving it. So when I'm using the shower, this is my go-to with these two body sprays running at the same time. One little cool thing about this is just the luge function. Let's check that out. And she comes down for about eight seconds with some intensity. And that's about it. There you go. So a huge disappointment with the uh, Cola Real Rain. Let's stop. Just gonna do that del deluge purging again. And she's turning off. Let's go here, let's go there. Let's hit start. I'm just gonna turn these off to the side a little bit. Take a step back to see what's going on. Maybe yes, maybe no. But the body sprays are pretty cool. A mistake that I did is having the body sprays too far apart. You know, you're using one pair or the other. You're not using both at the same time, unless you're having a party in here, which I have to uh, do every so often. You know, nothing like having a, sh a, a shower party. <laughs> all right, let's turn that all that off for a second. We'll hit stop. And you notice the real rain does take a little while for it to stop dripping. I'm just gonna show you the, the steam real quick. And then we'll take a look at, look at that. Okay, so it's 5.57 into this process. We'll come back to that in a minute. All right, let's start with the six port DTV digital thermostatic valve, okay? This is three quarter coming in cold, three quarter coming in hot. There's your domestic hot, domestic cold. All these ports are half inch, which is a disappointment. This should be three quarter and this should be one inch, but I have packs sized up from one inch that goes to three quarter here. So, and then all of my ports are sized up to three quarter as well. So port number one, this is my real rain. Port number two is my, uh, the, that shower head. Number three is the first set of body sprays. Number four is the second set of body sprays. Number five is the handheld, and number six is capped off. Didn't use it. This is the DTV steam adapter. It gets plugged into the Kohler steam generator. Above that, this is the interface module. You get your internet connection, all your network cables, power, of course. Down here, this is your Bluetooth adapter, another power supply. Let's take a look at the steam. I have a 3M HF65 uh, water treatment system with the descaler and filter. It's got a cool little pressure gauge right there. I got three quarter coming into it. I got a Webstone drain valve there, isolation, half inch water inlet. This is steam outlet. And I have, just in case, you know, condensate or relief valve runoff in there. And just real quick, this is a three loop Upanor EP radiant manifold set up with three separate zones. These are the electronic zone actuators. This is the module that controls all that. 
And back there, that is my transformer for that. That's the Upanor zone valve actuator module. Okay. Let's go take a look at the steam. As you can see, we've got plenty of steam in there. And how long was that last intro? A couple minutes? Look at that. Awesome. It's 85 degrees, 86 degrees. Let's hit stop. It's a little slow with that, as you can see. And we'll open up the transom like that. And let's put on the exhaust. Radiant is in the shower. You'll see the previous, I'm gonna to try to incorporate the all the construction footage in this video. So stay tuned, let me compile that and. All right, I got cut short there real quick. This dog doesn't stop barking, oh my God. But in any case, uh, I just wanna thank all of you. Um, every single one, whether you're a subscriber or not, you know, all of you have helped grow this channel from you know, one subscriber to almost 13,000 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, and if you want a Mikey Pipe sticker, send me an email, mike at pipedoc.net. There'll be a um, info down in the description box down below. I'll be more than glad to send you a sticker. I don't care where you are in the world. You know, I got these international stamps. I got regular first class mail stamps, but wherever you are in the world, if you would like a free Mikey Pipe sticker, Send me an email and I'll send it out to you. Let me know how many you want. You know, don't go, don't be an animal. But if you want a few of them, let me know. I'll send it out. Um, so special shout out to all the subscribers and the rest of the community. All right, let's take a look at the construction video. Oh, I hate my iPhone. I had so many videos recorded, but this is the only one I could find. So let's do a quick review on it. It's three minutes, three and a half minutes long. I'll quickly show you this. Sorry, I'll keep quiet. Let's skip a little bit. That's the waste piping for the wall hung Toto. There's the wall carrier. There's my six port valve. There's my Upanor. Expansion packs three quarter. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Roughing for a double vanity and cast iron. Very disappointed. There's the drain for the shower. We move it over one bay to the left for the linear drain. Body spray lower, body spray upper. If you notice, I'm doing a balancing loop there. See, that's one loop. I have water coming in on the right-hand side right there off that three-quarter T. And that way you have equal balance on both. There's the rain head. You got to build a drop ceiling for that uh, real rain shower. There's the other body spray array. And that one right there, that's for the handheld. That's the bench area. Venting. I'm talking about putting the temperature sensor coming down right there. All right, enough of this. All right, so I found some pictures. Let's just quickly review. There it is, six port DTV system. This is for my real rain, which is up there. This one is one of the body spray arrays. I'm sorry, this is the rain head off the side of the wall. This is a body spray array, that's a body spray array, and there's the handheld. Next picture, there you go. This is that rain head that's off the wall on the top. Here's my incoming water, there's a T. This is just for balancing purposes. Body spray outlet, body spray outlet. Same thing on the other side. And this is for the real rain. Sorry to disappoint, I wish I had better video and pictures, but uh, I just wanted to show you a fully operational Kohler six port DTV plus system with steam generator. Let me know your thoughts, feedback, comments, criticism down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. 
And if you haven't done so already, you would like to support the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to get post notifications, hit that alarm bell. Thanks, guys. Be well. Have a great day.